today we have with us mr shiva narayana who secured all india rank of 5 in electrical engineering in engineering service exam 2023 we are proud to say that mr shiva narayan is a classroom coaching student of as engineering academy hyderabad and naturally he has taken guidance of as academy in a test series internal guidance program everything okay shiva narayan congratulations convey or briefly introduce yourself first of all thank you very much sir thank you very much for having me uh, i am shiva narayan sir i am from uh, west godar district andhra pradesh i have completed a diploma in uh, sita polytechnic sir and i have completed a graduation in srk engineering college which is affiliated to andhra university in 2018 i have passed out after that uh, i have taken long term coaching in as institute and then uh, in the 2019 batch then i have given an uh, esc attempt uh, without any preparation sir i have just completed a uh, classroom coaching and i have not revised all those non technical subjects i have taken a brief and uh, during that period railways was removed from the engineering service the so vacancies have come come down so it has affected me then again uh, 2020 because of covid i have taken a break for one year in 2021 i have started again preparing in 2021 i have uh, secured a gate rank of 321 and i have joined indian oil corporation and simultaneously i have given i have completed prelims mains and i have given esc interview also in 2021 unfortunately i i, I could not make it to the uh, short listing then i i continued i continued indian oil organization during one during my probationary period i did not prepare anything i have taken completely away from the studies and in 2022 september i restarted again preparing for engineering service and in 2022 i have given prelims i have completed a prelims mains and the interview also and i have secured air 5 nsc 2023 okay mr sivanarayana what is your father sir my father is an agricultural agricultural labor he is from kuppanpudi uh, akibid mandal andhra pradesh so your journey definitely is an inspiration so your parents uh, really deserve appreciation from everybody okay what is your preparation strategy for prelims sir uh, sir there is uh, my prepare my prelims preparation strategy i can divide into two parts sir one on a technical subject and a non technical subject uh, for in terms of technical subject i have prepared a conceptual wise preparation sir i have not uh, separated uh, this preparation is for uh, prelims this preparation is for mains what i have done is i have taken a subject and i have conceptualized the things for example in machines Uh, there is a testing uh, testing of dc machines that is an, an entire concept uh, why we go from the brake test to the uh, swim burn test to the brake test brake test to the uh, hopkinson test there is an interlink between them so i have com- I, i have learned the subject in an interlinking manner so it it is uh, useful for both prelims and mains uh, in terms of non technical subjects i have taken those uh, booklets uh, which which is prepared by as institute and i have prepared i i, I rigorous preparation two or three times re- revision and i have given more mock tests for the non technical subjects than the technical subjects for prelims sir uh, that okay, is my strategy when is the time uh, of uh, objective papers because suppose general studies two hours 100 questions technical three hours 150 questions what is the way of attacking the questions in the exam part actually uh, in prelims paper 1 100 questions there is 2 hours time sir in that 100 questions almost 20 questions is from uh, aptitude and max which will take much time uh, i can spend uh, 30 to 40 minutes for uh, max and aptitude other subject which are from uh, for example drawing ethics environment these are more of theoretical questions i can uh, I, i can analyze the question and i can see the options so it will take less time so there is no time constraint from the paper 1 but uh, in paper 2 uh, there is a possibility like i have faced during mock tests uh, shortage of time sir because uh, we don't have access to the calculator uh, so your mock tests are bit difficult because of uh, uh, lengthy questions and all anyway it helped me sir it, it take more time but uh, same thing helped me in uh, uh, actual examination because uh, because of difficulties faced in the during the mock tests it helped me in uh, prelims uh, main uh, actual examination that uh, i have adjusted my time sir without calculator how you manage the numerical questions and that's what sir i have practiced a lot sir i, I told you na sir uh, that uh, i spend more time on practicing sir things any shortcuts in solving the numerical problem without without calculator have you studied anything like uh, vedic mathematics 
or some uh, mathematical tables mugging up like root two, root three, one by root, anything such. Uh, Shockers. Nothing like that, sir. Because I have, I am a diploma background. I, I was, I was initially a beacon max, sir. I learned max through uh, all the books and all. It is like artificial learning for me. Yeah, max is not come natural to me. So oh. it, uh, I, I induced max into myself. So it is a bit difficult initially because of more practice. Whatever you told that uh, root three value 1.414 root three 1.73 to all those things more practice they like it's like a muscle memory like thing whenever I get uh, root two uh, for the, it will go to 1.414 like that it happens. Okay, coming to the mains papers question come answer booklet how you you have practiced for mains paper. Mains uh, uh, sir uh, prelims and mains in between there is very shortage yeah. of time. That too, because I'm working and there is an officer shortage where I'm working. So I have sometimes I have to continue double shift. That means I have to spend 16 hours in the plant itself. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if I'm in one shift, I have a, uh, I have to spend 10 hours, 8 to 10 hours in the plant. So uh, time is a big thing for me, sir. During that time, my friends has helped me. My friends stayed with me. So they, they do all these cooking things and all. Uh, they have 24 hours of time. So what I did, so I planned myself that uh, if I am working in one shift, I have to spend six to eight hours uh, per day. If I am working in two shifts, I have to spend two to three hours. In that time, I have to at least spend one hour, one hour for the uh, tests, mock tests and all. That, uh, and uh, moreover, our uh, main mock tests are uh, during Sundays only. There is no problem, sir. I have given all the all the main mock tests. Sir. And uh, there is initially, I get very less marks uh, uh, because of uh, that uh, improper selection of questions. Like uh, correct, uh, I, I didn't uh, select correct questions over the period. So I made myself that, okay, uh, you have to spend a bit more time during the selection of questions. So I spend uh, 10 to 15 minutes, which helped me in the actual mains examination also. I spent 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes i selected proper questions so i uh, i give the best shot okay coming to the interview how much time you have taken for interview sir my interview i am the last person during the day so my interview is between 8 5 5 30 to 6 o'clock so it, it it went up to 30 minutes how what are the proceedings in interview how you entered what the chairman asked like that yes sir uh, uh, Sir, my chairman is a retail lieutenant general, sir. When I entered, he he is politely said, you take your seat. And he initiated a question which is related to my job experience, related to the oil, oil companies and all. So he has uh, he, is, he asked one question and there is an interlinked question followed by, by that question. So mm -hmm. like that, there is a series of questions related to the common base question. The question is common. So there is an, a series of questions. So I answered the three or four questions. Then uh, my technical interview started, sir. So 70 to 80 percent of my interview went in a technical way, sir. And in the technical also, uh, 20, 20 to 30 percent related to the job nature. And most of my interview went to the in sensors and transducers way. So that the sensors and the transducers I have prepared well. I mean, prepared in the sense during mains preparation, I have used the AS Institute notebook. So it has helped me during it. Any questions on uh, personal details like uh, what your father, where you studied, your background, anything? No, sir. For me, there is no. The only question they have asked is uh, where are you from and uh, uh, and the place where it is located. Uh, that's it, sir. There is no questions related to the hobbies, extracurricular activities, awards and prizes. There is no questions for me sir, during the interview. Anyway, great, Sivana Raina. You are an inspiration to all. So, Thank what you. is your suggestion to your juniors, particularly the students from lateral lateral entry, means from diploma background? So the students coming from the diploma usually lack, uh, lack skill in the mathematics, sir. I suggest them to focus more on the mathematics. If they choose a career in GATE or ESE, I ask them to spend more time on max after completing. Otherwise, uh, during graduation itself, they have to, because M1 subject we will miss, because we, st uh, we started in the second year, no, sir. I ask them to prepare M1 subject during graduation itself so that it will take less time for the GATE preparation or ESE preparation. Yes, yes. Very good, Sivanarayana. Congratulations once again. So, thank you, sir. our pranams to your parents. Okay? Thank, thank you. you. All the best. God bless thank you. you. God bless you. Thank you.